Wednesday, July 14th. I'm Natalie Del Conte and it's time to get loaded. eBay is being sued for $3.8 billion by a company that claims that PayPal violates patents it has had since 2003. The company is called Expert Ventures. They claim that eBay stole information shared in confidence for automatic payment and commerce and then went on to use this information in PayPal. 2003 was a long time ago though. Why this lawsuit now? I don't know. eBay has not responded to the suit. Chile is the first country to approve a net neutrality law. It states that no ISP can block, interfere with, discriminate, or hinder use of the Internet. It also mandates that ISPs provide parental controls, guarantee users' privacy, and it forbids them from restricting any liberty whatsoever. If you use Google's Picasa to store your photos, you can now edit them straight from the web album using Picnic. This lets you do simple photo editing like taking out red eye, changing the image size, or changing the effect on a photo. Flickr users have been able to do this for some time now. HP Labs in India has a new way to browse the web using text messaging. The technology is called Cityon Mobile. It requires a website be published in something called Tasklets that would let one command go to one place. For instance, you SMS horoscope or something like that to a specific code. Of course, this isn't really browsing. It's a way for HP to bring web access to people in countries where super fast smartphones are not so common. And T-Mobile has dropped the price of the Garmin phone. It was $200, but it's now $130, which does make it a lot more attractive, especially considering that it's one of the best navigation phones on the market. You can, of course, find a full review of the phone here on CNET. And finally, meet the world's lightest cell phone, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. It looks like a baby toy. The Modu comes out of Israel. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of thrills, but it has two gigs of onboard memory and it fits in just about anything. It's supposed to launch in the UK for 130 pounds. That's your news for now. Thank you for watching. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV, and you've just been loaded.